Well, tonight we're getting new insight on a story that continues to hang over Glenville. As of 4 o'clock, we told you the Glenville Bridge was hit once again on Monday afternoon, shutting the road down for six hours. At 5 o'clock, we heard from a commercial driver's license expert about training truck drivers to plan a safe route. New at 6, Stella Porter talks to one truck driver who says these hits shouldn't keep happening. This emergency turnaround is meant to give drivers one last chance before they hit the Glenville Bridge. But the town says the bridge has still been hit three to four times since the turnaround was built this summer. We spoke to a Canadian truck driver outraged when we told him about the bridge that keeps getting hit. There's no excuse for it, actually. You, you can't read, maybe. There's no excuse to hit a bridge, no, with a transport, with a truck. There's no excuse at all. So they're clearly marked. Photos show a mess on Glenridge Road during Monday's commute home. Town Supervisor Chris Ketsley says the driver, another Canadian, told police he was just following GPS. And that's what we've got to break. People have got to stop just blindly following GPS. If you've got one that belongs in your car, it doesn't give you the truck route on it. Having the right GPS system, planning a safe route, and reading signs is ultimately on the driver, says Andrea Hanley. She runs the CDL schools, training drivers from the capital region. The driver is always responsible for ensuring those routes are safe for the size of their vehicle. Ketsley says drivers don't always do that. The hits will keep happening about once a month unless the DOT makes more changes. The only way to eliminate those hits is to remove the physical barrier, which is either raise the bridge or close the road to truck traffic. We asked the DOT if they would consider that. They referred us to their efforts on the turnaround and enhanced signs. Ketsley says the stakes are high here, and it's only a matter of time before someone is hurt or worse, killed. In Glenville, Stella Porter, News Channel 13, coverage you can trust. Stella, thank you.